morning guys we are outside again it is a beautiful day to get things done we got a shipment of some gray bricks from Lowe's and I want to edge all of my gardens oh there's bugs I want to edge all of my gardens with the bricks I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it yet but I'm gonna play around and see what we can come up with um, I am filming this intro after everything is done, so I was just kind of in the groove, so I didn't really do an uh, intro, so this is me doing an intro now, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, just, just gonna take you guys along the journey, and at the end I will do a little small garden tour. It is still spring here in northern Maine, so I don't really have any blooms to show you, but some of the foliage is coming back from the winter time and it's looking beautiful. I'm so excited to see where my garden goes. Um, this is the second um, season for growing. So I'm hoping, <clears throat> I'm hoping that things will kind of start to get bigger and bigger. And then after that, I will see if I need to add anything. But I hope you guys enjoy this little video of this little garden makeover. Alright, so I have already started laying the bricks out on the front side of my house. I did level off some of them at the beginning and then just went off of those ones. So everything is pretty level, but I'm not a professional and it's a lot of work to try to make everything level. But overall, it looks great, so we're just going to go with it. Um, I decided on doing this pattern. I just thought that it gave it a little bit more character instead of just doing like one brick or stacking the bricks. I just really like the way this looked. Plus, I'll be able to add a bunch of mulch and it won't fall out. Now I'm just moving right along. My husband is helping me bring over some bricks. He is so sweet. Now I'm going back to where the porch is. I kind of did the yard backwards because I wasn't really sure how many bricks we were going to have. So I wanted to start in the front yard where everyone would see it and then work my way to the rest of the yard. Thankfully I had way more than enough. We ordered 700 bricks and I still have a bunch left over. So I'm still trying to find some other projects that I might enjoy doing with some bricks. but. Like I said before, I was not sure how many bricks I would have to do my gardens, but thankfully I did have enough of the bricks to put around my wishing well garden, and it just looks so much more clean and it's easier to mow the lawn around it, so I'm loving it.
So at the edge here, I did not have um, enough space to put three bricks, so I just decided to make this a little bit different and add a little stepping stone walkway, and it actually came out really cute. So. So I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I picked up two uh, like sculpture ceramic things for my garden. Let me show you what I got. I got this really pretty frog, but it's got these like ceramic tiles on it. Look how pretty. I saw him and I just had to get it. So pretty. Anyways, I got this for $40. I thought it was not a bad deal. It's pretty big, like, look at it compared to my head. <laughs> but I'm going to find a good place to put him. And then I got another thing. And then I got these two foxes. I ended up getting it on sale because the ear's broken, but I'm going to put some flowers on it so that you won't even notice that it's broken. I got it on sale. Um... I had to ask for it on sale because it wasn't on sale to begin with, but I didn't want to buy something that was broken if it was not on sale, you know? It's really cute foxes, two foxes. They're in love and they're sitting on a bench. I just thought it was so pretty. And probably the camera won't do it justice, but it's this really pretty like patina color. They're so cute. I'm just going to put some flowers on the ear so you won't even notice them. I saw them and I just thought that they were so pretty. So I have to find somewhere cute to put these, but yeah, let's go find a place for them. I decided to put the two fox in between the planters that I have in the front yard and they look so adorable. You can't even tell that they were broken. And then I'm putting the frog in the front towards my fairy garden that I haven't worked on yet this year. And he is so cute right in front of that uh, chartreuse green bush. I don't remember what it's called. And then this girl and boy statue I got last year, but I decided to move them and I am loving them right in front of this white azalea that has not bloomed in two years. I'm hoping that it will bloom this year. Look how pretty they are. I just love them so much. It's just something about doing statues in your garden, right? Okay guys, this is the end of this little makeover. Let's just take a moment for how this house looked when we first moved in. And now it is just so beautiful. I definitely need to touch up the yard more. I need to add some grass seed. Um, I think the people that owned the house before us just did not take care of the lawn as much. But, yeah, I'm obsessed with these bricks. I need to add mulch as well. I did add it in some areas, but it's a slow process. It is hot outside. It's like 100 degrees right now. But everything is starting to get so much closer to blooming. Look at those hostas. And, yeah, I need to work on my fairy garden in the corner over there, too. I have so many uh, gnomes and fairy stuff to put up, but... I am obsessed guys. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.